Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, Shobh Mehmedav is here with the new lecture of the electrical engineering and today we are going to discuss the action of the commutator in the DC machine or the function of the commutator. Now the commutator is a mechanical rectifier which is used to convert the alternating voltage uh, induced in the armature winding of the DC machine into the direct voltage. So, this is the function of the commutator. Now, the how this commutator is formed and what will be the action of this, this commutator we have to discuss. Now, see the board. Now, the connection of the coil side to the external road is reversed. At the same instant, the current in the coil is reverses. So, the current through the load will be the direct current. So, this is the function of the commutator. This is what the commutator does. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is the construction of a commutator which is mounted on the same shaft of the uh, rotor or with the armature core in which the armature winding is to be takes place or worn and then on the armature winding this commutator is mounted on the same shaft but insulated from the armature winding. Now there are the two segments of the commutator in shown in this figure number 1. This is the figure number 1. Here the commutator is has the two segments the C1 and the C2. Both are segregated or the separated by the mica. So, it consists of a cylindrical metal ring cut into the two halves. So, now this is like a cylindrical metal ring. If this metal ring is cut into the two halves, so now the first half or the first segment is will be the C1 segment and the second segment will be the C2 and separated by a thin mica sheet. Okay, so, mica is an insulating material. So, now the commutator is mounted on but insulated from the rotor shaft. Now, this commutator is mounted on the same shaft of the armature core which is the on which the armature winding is worn and this is the rotating winding in which the EMF is induced or the currents are induced in the case of the DC generator and the function of the commutator is to convert the alternating EMF or the voltage which is produced in the output of the armature winding is converted into the with the help of this rectifier with the help of this mechanical rectifier this EMF or voltage AC voltage is converted through the into the DC voltage. So, the commutator is insulated from the armature core or the rotor shaft of the DC machine. Now, ends of the coils A, B and the C, D. Now, see these two the see these two diagrams. So, number this is the figure number 2 and this is the figure number 3 in which in which there are the poles north and the south pole and this is the coil section. A, B and the C, T okay? and there are the two carbon bushes positive and the negative in which this uh, uh, the segments of our uh, commutator is connected uh, between these both carbon bushes and the external load resistive load is connected with the carbon bushes. Okay, now, so now let us discuss these two diagrams. So, how this DC waveform is generated from the output of the commutator. So, the ends of the coil A, B and the C, D are connected to the segment C1 and the C2 respectively as shown in figure. As you can see, these are, this is the uh, armature okay, which is connected with this commutator and it is insulated. Now, this one like is here the armature. Okay on which the armature winding is takes place. This is the armature core, which is the rotating part of the DC machine and it is insulated. Here, this one is the commutator in which they have it in which it has the two segments, the C1 and the C2 segments and these uh, AB coil. Now, here the AB coil, AB side of the coil is lies under the N pole and connected with the C1 segment of the commutator and the CD coil uh, side is connected with the C2 segment of the uh, commutator in the figure number 2 respectively. Now, two stationary carbon brushes rest on the commutator and lead the current to the external load. 
now the function of the carbon bushes is to collect the emf from the armature winding or from the commutator as the output of the dc voltage and that voltage is supplies with the help of this carbon bushes to the external load circuit so this is the purpose of the carbon bushes in the dc machine now with this arrangement the commutator at all times connect the coil sides under the s pole now commutator always all the times are their coil sides are connected under the l pole n pole uh, uh, sorry under the s pole with the positive bush as you can see under the L, s pole of the positive bush and the n pole is uh, con connect always with the negative bush of the your uh, commutator okay now as you can see on the both diagrams if the coil side a b in the figure number 2 or it is the either it is the c d in the figure number 3 as you can see the bush position is not changed negative bush is always connected with the north pole in the figure number 3 and also in the figure number 2 negative bush of the uh, uh, which is placed on the commutator is always connect is always on the n pole always and our uh, positive bush uh, uh, positive side of bush is positive bush is connected with the s pole at all the times even the coil side are being changed okay now let us discuss this figure number 1. Now the description of this figure number 1 as you can see from the board if I am going to explain this diagram this is the north and the south pole okay, obviously in which there is an armature which is connected uh, armature core and the winding is connected with this commutator and the two carbon bushes are connected and with this resistive load. Now the coil sides A, B and the C, D are under the end pole as you can see these coil side uh, A and the B are connected with this end pole and C, D is connected with the S pole respectively. The segment C1 connects the coil side A, B in the figure number 2 and the segment C2 connects the coil side C, D and uh, connected now for example here the C1 segment of the commutator is connected with the coil side AB lies under the end pole and with the load current of the P point okay with the P point of the load resistance R okay and the C2 segment is connected with the CD coil uh, under lies under the S pole and with the Q point of the load. Also note the direction of the current is always now here when this armature is rotated okay now EMF alternating EMF is produced in the armature and this can convert by this commutator mechanism in which this EMF alternating EMF which is generated by this armature is converted into the DC voltage and this DC voltage is to be collected from this bushes and this is to be supplied to the external load circuit from the from always its direction is the load current direction is from always Q to the P. So this was the explanation of the figure number 2 in which uh, in which the C1 segment is always coil side A and the B lies under the end pole and they, uh, this, uh, uh, this C1 segment is connected with the negative side of the carbon bushes and the end pole. Now here in the, in the, uh, and the load resistance point is P point is connected under this segments and this C2 segment is connected with the CD coil side of uh, uh, like armature and, and lies under the S pole and the direction of the current, uh, uh, direction of the load resistance will be uh, to the Q side and hence when the EMF is generated through the uh, uh, alternating EMF is generated through the armature which is converted into the direct voltage with the help of this commutator. So, it is the direction of the current flow will be from the Q to the P. So, this is the uh, our first diagram figure number 2 and hence this uh, our like this waveform will be our uh, sorry this one will be a, a waveform is to be generated from 0 to 180 degree in the figure number 2. So, this half cycle uh, will be produced okay, uh, because of this rotation. Okay. Now, in the second diagram as you can see again after the half revolution 
now after this half ref half revolution okay and the of a loop 180 degree rotation the coil side ab is under s pole now compare this figure figure number 2 and figure number 3 compare the poles are in the same position the bushes are in the same position but now here the coil side is changes and the segments of the commutator is now reverse one of uh, in the 180 degree rotation how, how? figure number 2 here the coil side position is ab to the cd and now here in this figure number 3 the coil side position has been reversed now and it is from the cd to the ab and here because of this rotation the segments of the commutator is also being reversed now now here it first it was the c1 that was connected with the negative side of the carbon bushes and the eb ab side of the coil which was under the n pole now here in the figure number 3 the c2 carbon bushes uh, c2 uh, of our commutator segment is connected with the negative side of the bushes and under the nail lies under the n pole and the coil side will be the cd so this will be the reverse in comparison to that figure number 2 and this c1 is again lies under the uh, s pole and which has the coil sides ab and here it was the cd and here now it is the ab and the segment uh, has reverse now For, uh, here that was the c1 and the c2 now here there is the c2 and the c1 and the coil sides were ab cd and here the cd and ab so this is the description the coil side ab under the s pole as you can see the now there ab coil in the figure number 3 will be under the lies under the s pole and the cd under the north pole so as is shown in the figure number 3 the now the currents in the coil side now flow in the reverse direction because the commutator segments direction has been reversed and also the coil position is now being changed in the comparison to that of the figure number 3 but the segment c1 has also moved through the 180 degree and the segment c1 is now in contact with this now in contact with the positive brush of the figure number 3 and has the coil side is ab under the s pole and here in the c2 segment of our commutator is connected with the shorted with the negative side of the carbon brush lies under the n pole and the coil side is a cd1 in the figure number 3 so now the commutator has reversed the coil connection to the point q and the cd to the point p of the load now the load current direction is again from the q to the p from the q to the p so this is the description or the explanation of the figure number 2 in which the coil sides are now become reversed as that the first it was the ab in the first diagram now it is the cd uh, under the n pole and ab under the s pole and here it was the in the first diagram ab was under the n pole and cd was under the s pole after this diagram this also waveform is being generated so what happened thus alternating voltage generated in the loop will appear as the direct voltage is across the bushes on the both sides of the figure okay this armature always produce the alternating voltage but this is the function of the commutator that it is used to convert the alternating voltage or the emf into the direct voltages and that is to be collected from the carbon bushes which are mounted on the commutator segments emf is generated in the armature winding is dc of a dc generator is always alternating one the armature core on which the armature winding is worn uh, and on that uh, armature core the commutator is mounted on the same shaft but insulated from the armature core so here the at the end of the armature winding or the at the end of the armature coils we are getting the alternating voltage or the emf but there is an assembly which is connected with the armature core or the rotor shaft of the dc machine insulated 
So, that is called as a commutator. Now, this is the function of the commutator to convert that alternating voltage of the, from the armature winding into the direct voltage to, uh, uh, to and that direct voltage is supply to the external load circuit with the help of this carbon brushes. By use of the commutator, we convert the generating alter, generated alternating EMF, alternating EMF into the direct voltage. Now, the purpose of the brushet is to simply lead the current from the rotating loop uh, or winding as external as stationary load. So, this was the lecture regarding the action of the commutator in the DC machine. So, the commutator is the mechanical rectifier which is used to convert the alternating EMF or the voltage in the armature coils into the direct voltage. This is the function of the commutator and the commutator the cylindrical metal ring it uh, separated or segregated into the two halves. Uh, first uh, the, in the two segments the C1 and the C2 segments and insulated from the thin mica sheets. And then as you, we can, as I have already explained this uh, figure number 2 and the figure number 3 just I am going to recall this. So, this is the coil sides of the A, B and the C, D of the armature and these C1 and the C2 segments of the commutator and always this negative brush of the commutator, uh, commutator is always uh, uh, all times connect the coil sides under the S N pole, uh, positive side under the S pole of the brushes and the negative of our, of our uh, N is under, uh, under the S uh, N pole sides and so here in this first, first figure the C1 of the commutator is connected with the negative brushes of the uh, negative brushes which is mounted on the commutator and lies under the end pole and the coil sides are A, B and here the C2 is connected with this positive brush and then the coil sides are, are the C, D uh, lies under the end pole and the direction of the load resistance is from the Q to the P. And in the figure number 2 here you can see this is the reverse of this figure number to figure number 3 over here. So, the coil sides are connections are being reversed C D under lies under the end pole and here the segments of the commutator are now reversed now here the C2 and the C1 and first was the C1 and the C2 here first was the A B and the C D under the end pole here the C D and C D uh, under the end pole and uh, our uh, here it was C D uh, uh, under the S pole and here A B uh, is now under the S pole and contact with the positive side of the carbon brushes and the C1 segment is uh, now connected with this AB side of the coil and that at the end we are getting this uh, direct voltage waveform. So, this was the uh, whole lecture regarding the action of the commutator in the DC machine and I hope that you have understand the today's lecture and at the last. Uh, subscribe my YouTube channel Shoebe Madhayo for more informative videos related to the electrical engineering area. Thank you.